Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Wednesday, December 27th, 2023, and we are back with our NBA best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these NBA videos every single day, along with the NFL, college football, college basketball, and NHL. We're also coming for a big winning year of the MLB, going after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first 11 months on YouTube. Really excited to have y'all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we should have gone 3-0, uh, excuse me, 4-0, uh, but we went 3-1 yesterday. Pelicans minus 4.5, blew a 14-point lead in the fourth, just unbelievable loss. Then we had the over 241.5 in San Antonio and Utah, winner. Oklahoma City minus 2.5, winner. And then we gave you guys a plus 514, same game, probably last night. We had SGA over 30 points. Anthony Edwards over 20, and then Jalen Williams and Chet Holmgren both over 15. That hit half, with nine minutes left in the fourth. Easy dub. 123-94 brawl for the season, crushing this NBA season so far. And we have four picks to the NBA. I'm going to give you guys three of them here on YouTube. We do have a members-only pick in the NBA and two members-only plays in college football, so three in total today. You can go to ddmbets.com slash picks. The website linked in the comments below to go get those other plays. And we have three picks today, like I said. I'll start with our first play, which is going to be the Magic money line My, uh, versus the 76ers, minus 130. You could do minus one and a half. That's totally fine. I'm just going to do the money line because I don't mind the bigger odds. I bet big, and I'm not going to be hooked by one point. But the reason why here is because Joel Embiid is, is out still. And that's a gigantic deal for this team. And, and the 76ers, I mean. Um, and, and they lost the, the heat without Jimmy Butler, without Joel Embiid. Like, Joel Embiid is, is what serves the drink here. And the Magic need to get back on track after a small little slide before Christmas, and they're back home, and they haven't played since before Christmas. And they have good defensive guards, which is going to be really, really important, given the fact they're going against Tyrese Maxey today. And Tyrese Maxey is a budding superstar. Bancaro can guard Tobias Harris, no problem. And the Magic also have great size on the inside. They have Mo Wagner, who's great. Um, they have Wendell Carter. I like them. I like them to win at home today. I, I think they match up incredibly well with the 76ers, and I think they can score plenty uh, in this game. So I'm rolling the Magic here, money line versus the 76ers. Next, we take the Rockets plus two and a half versus the Suns. The Rockets have played have played great at home. I don't know if people know this, but they're 12 and three at home. Um, and I'm getting points here as well. I mean, that, that's fantastic. And something just is not quite right with this Phoenix Suns team. There's something wrong. And don't tell me it's because Bradley Beal isn't there. If Bradley Beal comes back, I don't really think it's any different. There, there, there's, not, there's some chemistry issues. The roster doesn't really look like it fits together. They, they, they should probably make some moves with the trade deadline. I'm not really sure what you can even do, though. I, I like the Rockets here, plus 2.5, plus sharp money's on them, too. So I'm rolling with the Rockets here, plus 2.5. And, and then lastly, we're going to take Oklahoma City, minus 3, uh, versus the Knicks. Uh, the Knicks are coming off the biggest win of their entire season. This is a major letdown spot because they aren't that good. This is the game that the Knicks always lose. And I know they're playing on the road. The Knicks on the road are actually pretty solid. But they have no answer for SGA. Absolutely none. Chet Holmgren and Jalen Williams are serious matchup problems for them. And they're going to have to guard them. And the fact is that if Mitchell Robinson, since Mitchell Robinson is not there for the Knicks, there's going to be free rim runs. Um, Haverstein or whatever, like a big-ass white guy in New York, he's playing pretty well. But the fact is, is that the it might, the Knicks have the Knicks have the second best player, but Oklahoma City has the best player. They're at home. They just came off a big win last night. Oklahoma City has the, I think SGA will probably win the MVP given how things are shaping up right now. I love Oklahoma City here minus three versus the Knicks. Now we'll be posting a same game parlay later today. We've hit two of our last four in the NBA, so we're way up on those. Um, you can get that on my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. And we also can get all our members only plays at zdmbest.com slash picks. Website link in the comments below. But a quick recap what we have. We have we have the Magic money line, Rockets plus two and a half versus the Suns, and Oklahoma City minus three versus the Knicks. So let's go lock up those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you check those other videos.